Hey guys, what is up? It's JJ Tech here back with another video. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Fosman Dual Conductive Charging Station. Alright, so this is for the Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox One S, whatever. So you can see right here, Foreman, Fosman Dual Conductive Charging Station for Xbox One and Xbox One X controllers. And apparently it's new. Alright, so you can see it says features. These are the features. Up to 30 to 33 hours of playtime, so that's pretty good. Charge cycles, a thousand. Charging four to five hours. LED charging indicator, which turns green every time it finishes charging. And it includes the package includes one dual conductive charging station, obviously. Two 1,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery packs, which is pretty good. One micro USB charging cable. One user manual. That's pretty much you, all you get in the box. All right. So without further ado, let's get this open. Right. As you can see I already took off the tape to make it easier. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so first I'm going to fill up this box so we can uh, see what it comes with. It's actually for the box. Let's put the box inside real quick. As you can see, we have this box. Let's see what it comes inside. Alright, this is a little pull tab. Alright, so the first thing you get is your first battery pack, you can see. Take that out so you can see it. Alright, first battery. Alright, let's put that to the side. The next thing. Alright, the second thing is a micro USB charging cable. You can see, USB to micro USB. Alright, what else? Looks like the last thing you get in here is for a battery for your controller. So, you can actually put two controllers on the charging station. Other one, Fosman. All right. Looks like there's nothing else in the box, so let's move that to the side. So the last thing we put in the box is the charging station itself. You can see. Let's pull that out. You can see this is your charging station. You can see it says Fosman. Two LED charging indicators. When it turns green, it's done charging. You can see this is where you place your controllers. Micro USB port back here so you can connect it to this, to the wall, I'm pretty sure. It's your Xbox. Alright. So let me show you guys a little demonstration on how to do this. So you're going to grab your Xbox One controller. What you're going to do, you're going to take out the batteries that you have inside, if you do. I'm going to put that to the side. What you're going to do, you're actually going to put this battery inside, like so. You can see this goes right here. You're gonna stick it in like if it's acting like a battery. So as you can see we're gonna stick this in. How do you stick this in? All right. So as you can see these these have to go on this side right here. These little two dots. You're gonna stick that in. As you can see it's easy as that. So it does have a little black. I mean if that doesn't bother you, if it's all white controller. You can see the heft is actually a little lighter than what you get with the batteries. That's what I feel. So now what you're going to do is you're actually going to connect this micro USB to the back to either the wall or your Xbox. You're going to put this down like so. And these two, these two right here, will connect to these two down here. You can see those right there, like so. And then which is going to put it like so, and that will charge it right up. Pretty much it, guys. It's not that hard. It's pretty simple, actually. So, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down in the section down below. Tell me what videos you guys want me to do in the future. And I'll leave the link to this in the description box below. It actually cost me 26 bucks, which is pretty cheap for this. For what you get, like I said, you can fit two charging, two controllers on this. One right here, and one on the other side, like so. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
And there's not looks like there's nothing else in the box. It's just your user manual. So yeah, it's pretty much it for this video, guys. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.